So these are the things I wish I knew before starting my business and if I would start my business all over again, these are some of the things I would do differently. Hi, hello, welcome and welcome back to my channel and welcome back if you're a returning subscriber. In this video, I'm going to talk about the things which I would do differently if I were to start my business all over again. My name is Oluchi. I am the co-founder of Flourish Flare. We sell jewelry pieces. So do well to follow us on Instagram and all our social media platforms at Flourish Flare underscore. Any kind of products at all you sell, this video is applicable to you. So the first thing I would do differently is to order for samples. Getting samples when you are first starting in your business is very essential this is because you're not sure of the things your customers would love you're not sure of the quality of the pieces and then you would want to physically hold those products in your hands to see how they look like because sometimes something you see in picture might appear different from what it looks like physically like this earring I got, it was different. And then when it came in, it was different from what I thought it was. I thought it was bigger. I thought it had that curve. But then when it came, it was different. So you would want to order for samples first. If you're shopping from that vendor from the first time, you are not sure of the quality. So you would want to order for samples first to test the quality of those pieces. Ordering for samples, you must not order for one. You can order for two pieces. You can order for three pieces. You don't order for so many. There are some pieces that I ordered when I was first starting that are still stuck with me up till now. Like, I'm like, why did I order for this in large quantity? I would have just ordered. Because if you order for one, if you order for two, it's bearable, right? You can wear them. You can use them if you want. So if you order for two or three pieces and then it comes in and you see that it's something that the quality is good and then your customers love, you can now order in large quantity. So the second thing is branding. I am glad I did this earlier. Branding is very, very essential because you want your brand to be unique. You want to be known as this brand you're not just starting a business you want to establish a brand it requires time but then it is cost effective if you know how to strategize properly it makes your brand unique that whoever sees this logo whoever sees this color whoever sees this will know that this is coming from this brand you don't just want to be a random brand out there you want to be a unique brand if you're just starting up and you don't have much capital you can order for a stamp instead of customizing all your packaging items design a logo which you can, you can look for someone that charge less you can get them on fiverr you can also create one yourself you can go on canva and do that but if you don't think you can then you can look for someone on fiverr on upwork you would see people who are willing to charge lesser than you think and then for branding your packaging if you don't have much money much capital if you're still starting up you can order for stamp it's going to take a lot of time but then it is cost effective because when you have stamp you can just customize each and every one of your packaging items before sending them out because you want your customer to always have you in mind because when they are looking for someone to buy again they see this logo they see this packaging and it reminds them of you you want to always be in the mind of your customer you don't just want to send your item in a random nylon without any form of customization or anything and then it costs less than you think check out this video of packaging items i use for my business the third thing is starting a business requires investment you need to put in capital you need your time you need to do lots of research you need to put in like so many things because you have to be doing contact creating you have to be replying to dms so many things it requires so for capital you need money to start up that business for your packaging for getting the product it also requires your time you need time to be creating content, you need time to be taking pictures of your product, you need time replying to DMs and then doing lots of research because you want to be learning to improve. You don't just want to be stagnant in that business, you want to be going higher. Starting a business also requires risks. There are risks to starting a business because things might not always go as you've planned them. And then there are lots of risks involved. In as much as there is the good part, there's also the bad part because there are some things that you cannot control. There are some things that on you, you cannot control. You might make a research to make sure that this piece is of good quality and then it comes in and then something happens because there's this bracelet I got and then someone ordered it and then the bracelet was broken. And then I had to resend another one. Like you will lose money, you will gain money. Things may not always go as planned. So all you have to do is to keep learning, researching, um, trying out different things to see what works. And then finally, you need 
God's grace. You need God to help you. You need God to be by your side. God is the best. Call on him. He would make your business grow. You can join a drop shipping platform if you don't have enough capital and start. This will help you to learn more about starting a business and, and just know yourself and know your business is for you. Simply, the link is going to be down in the description. You can join us and start drop shipping now. It's going to help you to know your strengths and then know more about business. So thank you very much for watching. We have an amazing day. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Just click on the red button down below. Do have a blessed day. Lots of love, all of you. Bye.